briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1990, an auction at Christie's stirred a whirlwind of controversy when a pastel painting by Georges Braque was sold to Barbara Lee Diamonstein for $600,000. The excitement was short-lived as concerns on the authenticity of the artwork emerged. The high-end auction house, Christie's, chose to cancel the sale and refund Diamondstein due to these concerns. This decision triggered legal repercussions as the drama transcended from the art world into the courtrooms. The underwriters, Christie's errors and omissions insurers, took legal action against Jane Coven, the artwork's owner. They claimed Coven had violated the consignment agreement by refusing to return the refunded sum. Counteracting this, Coven posed a third-party complaint against Christie's. She alleged that the reputable auction house had breached their fiduciary duty and the consignment agreement. The court was faced with a thorny issue. They had to uncover whether Christie's had broken their duty of loyalty and care to Coven. Additionally, they had to establish if Coven had indeed breached the consignment agreement. The lower court initially denied a summary judgment for Christie's and underwriters due to a dispute over a legal issue and disputed material facts. Following a re-argument, the court favored Christie's and underwriters. They concluded that there was no violation of undivided loyalty on Christie's part, as their investigation on the authenticity of the artwork was completely within their rights. The consignment agreement explicitly permitted Christie's to rescind the sale if needed. The striking part of the agreement was paragraph 9, providing Christie's the authority to seek expert opinions, indicating there was no prohibition on post-sale consultations. The court was firm in its decision that Christie's did not breach its duty of care to Coven when they suspended the sale. They were within their contractual rights to dismiss a sale which could potentially leave them liable under the warranty of authenticity. As a result, the underwriters were granted summary judgment against Coven for violating the consignment agreement, and Christie's emerged victorious on Coven's third-party complaint. The court stated that the contractual provisions were not unjust, but rather provided a pragmatic solution to a multifaceted commercial predicament. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.